Joining us from Washington, Fox News analyst Charles Krauthammer. So am I overreacting, Charles? Look, I agree with you that the nanny state is unsustainable, and in the end it collapses. But what happened in Cyprus is not that the government, which is a nanny government in Cyprus, is insolvent. It's that the banks are insolvent. And the banks had sort of grown to about six or seven times the size of the economy with a lot of influx of Russian money. What happened was the banks invested in Greek bonds, which went from 100 to essentially zero. So the banks are wiped out. Now, Europe said, we will help you out. And at the beginning, they made a fatal mistake. They said, we'll help you out if you steal money from all of your depositors. Now, that caused a sort of a revolution in Cyprus, and it was stopped. But then they made what was the only wise decision. They decided that those people who have under 100,000 euros, which are insured, they have their money intact. But all the money that was put in beyond insurance, it's like the FDIC insurance we have here, is fair game. If you're in one of the, the, the two banks, you'll probably lose it all. In the other bank, the Bank of Cyprus, you'll probably lose about a quarter. But only the amount of money that is over the guarantee. All right, but look, that, staffed, I think, it's is an important theft. distinction. Here's a couple of things. Cyprus itself owes billions of dollars, and if it were a solvent country, it could prop the banks up, because when banks go under in the USA, as you know, the government can come in and take them over. They can't do it in Cyprus. They don't have any money, because, as you said, it's a nanny state. But the bigger picture is this. We are seeing the future in Europe now. We are seeing it, all right? Yet our president, and I'm not a guy that has been hammering Obama on every little thing, but this is a big thing. He sees it, too. This is what troubles me about Barack Obama. He sees it. So do his guys. They know what's happening in Europe. They know what's happening in Greece, in Spain, in Italy, in Cyprus. They know. Yet they are encouraging the same scenario in the United States, Charles. That to me is inexplicable. It's why Barack Obama will not sit down with me for an interview. He doesn't see $17 trillion debt as a problem. He doesn't see it, but it is a problem. And everyone knows it's a problem. So what is that? Dishonesty? Delusion? What is it? Well, last time you asked me that, I responded that he's Louis the 15th, but I will not bring up any more Louis. I think you have to make a distinction between governments and banks. Our banks are in fairly good shape. Our problem is, and it's a longer term problem, that the government is headed towards insolvency. Now, it's not going to get there tomorrow. And even the, the Europeans, who are way advanced in terms of indebtedness and insolvency, are not going to get there tomorrow. And we have several years between now and then. If we would start to make entitlement reforms, if we would start to make tax reform, if we would start to just to begin to rein in the government and you then begin to bend the curve, we can quite easily achieve solvency. Yeah, but we're not years. doing that. Instead, we're printing more money that's devaluing our currency, okay. all right? And that is going to lead to Armageddon. When this man leaves office, Barack Obama, we will have a national debt approaching $20 trillion. We will have a badly damaged dollar because of all the money they're printing now. You know it and I know it, all right? And anything can happen in this world. You start dominoing down countries going under, like Cyprus, and stealing deposits, you're going to have a mass panic worldwide. But, Bill, if all of that is true, and I agree with you on the general principle, but not on the timetable. Do you think everybody on Wall Street is out of his mind as it rises up to record highs? I think they're deluding themselves into thinking Every that some way, somehow, the United States is going to get away from the nanny state. But we're not going to get away from the nanny state because the people now want it here. Yeah, but, they want it. They're feeling it. I can but, get free stuff now. I'll give you the last Bill, word. So your theory is that we've reached a point where we will never have a Republican administration. We will always have. Do you a see free any outcry to balance free, this budget? Do you see any anti-Obama outcry I at all? See, no. I see a GOP that, for three years in a row, has passed a, a budget which would return us to one percent of GDP of debt within four years. But that they can't is, get it that, done. 
Well, all you got to do is change administrations. Well, unless that, you believe we're going to we'll have Democrats until the end I of don't time, know. your I, I, theory is wrong. I'm worried about these people, the voters now, because the mentality is changing in this country. It's changing, and that worries me. Charles, very interesting.